Okay, um, let's start. Thank you all for coming. So um, today we are going to start a subtle information meeting and welcome for subtle um, information meeting. So most of you already know about CERTL, which is a short form for Center for the Integration of Research, <laughs> Teaching, and Learning. So um, UTSA has joined CERTL group recently in the month of May. We got accepted to join the group. This is a networking group among more than 45 universities uh, nationwide and also Canada, a couple of universities included here. So this is NSF. Um, NSF not project, but uh, few universities like six or seven has initiated it and then NSF supported the group and then from there it start. The main goal of the CERTL is to help undergraduate teaching and how they are doing that by training our next generation teachers who are graduate student and uh, postdocs and also junior um, level of faculties. So this initiation started at with a couple of universities and now it is almost 45 um, institute nationwide who are uh, joined this group. And uh, from Texas, I can say um, Texas a &M is one of the um, founder and for UT, UT Arlington, UTSA, and I think UT Austin are there in that group. So you can see it's nationwide and um, Canada, I think Toronto University is also one of the member. So to give you all just a uh, background, what is CERTL mainly is um, it's founded in 2003 with uh, seven, I guess, uh, main institute, Harvard, Michigan, Texas a and uh, Colorado Boulder, University of Wisconsin Medicine and University of Vanderbilt. And now we are almost 45 institute. This year UTSA applied at the beginning of the year. And just like any other um, research project, how we ap apply, we have to apply and tell them that why and how our graduate student get, in, uh, get uh, benefit from that. And then uh, how we can help the networking group because it's a networking. So every university has to give back something on that network. And we got accepted and uh, this is our first semester we are starting. The uh, subtle mainly their long-term goal is to improve in STEM undergraduate education. And um, as I said, uh, just um, that their main way, they, their uh, strategic plan is to develop a STEM faculty by preparing graduate and postdoctoral fellows in teaching and learning. Though it started with STEM, but now several other uh, uh, non-STEM um, Disciplines also get involved and is growing because teaching baseline is same for every discipline. So their mission, again, enhance the excellence in undergraduate education by developing a national faculty committed to implementing and advancing effective teaching practices for diverse learners as part of successful and varied professional career. So three main three core ideas, subtle, um, implement and all the networking universities, they generally focus on these three ideas and then they uh, develop their own programs. So one of these is teaching as research, which is very uh, interesting one for graduate student because there they develop a teaching method and implement it just like their research project. So they will implement their research uh, teaching method in undergrad class and see how uh, beneficial that teaching method is for um, undergrad student. Just an example is like uh, one of the student uh, in Texas and I'm, he did a 3D model of teaching, 3D method, and he got the first prize for that. And Sutter also give um, thousand dollars for this um, um, for this project work for graduate student mainly. And then learning community, which we are, then there you bring together all groups of people uh, who will uh, share learning, discovery, and uh, generation of knowledge. And learning through diversity, which is another uh, pillar for uh, certain core ideas, which capitalize on the rich array of experience, background, and skill among STEM undergrads and graduates through faculty to enhance all learning because it's 
it's not like when you will be faculty, you will be staying here. You might go to the another corner of the country. So you need to learn how to teach diverse uh, background and uh, diverse group of undergrad student. So why and how this uh, cross network learning community benefits? So here are 45 institute and we can take courses from any of those who are put, uh, opening their courses on the network. So Southern North Network mainly connect together all these research institute and uh, who are using certain ideas and they share ideas among network universities, which also um, like if you want to grow in a specific area of your teaching instead of we do alone by um, within UTSA, you can take advantage from other institute like some of you are already taking advantage of Cornell's uh, eight weeks program. Some of are taking advantage of Boston University's program. So that's the main uh, um, main um, advantage of certain because um, so many courses which we will be not able to do here maybe, maybe in future we can do, but with uh, networking courses, which they call a mock massive open networking uh, courses, you can take advantage of those. And obviously share learning network graduate student is uh, they get prepared more for drivers uh, teaching and research, which will, they might be um, encounter in their career in future. And again, for university's point of view, also, if you are together, shared action, better position our universities for funding, collaboration, and also your um, program will be uh, having a national impact. Uh, CERTL give three different certification programs and which if you take, get those certificate, you, those will be uh, really valuable any corner of the nation you go. So how to join the uh, CERTL program? So in UTSA, as, a, as you just um, learned that we started it and we have um, a group, we are making a cohort group and we have a team group, here are our QR code, you can join in that group. And we will be having a lot of courses which we will be suggesting you from our own institute as well as from the networking group. So you can join any of those courses, National Subtle Network one or UTSA one and you will be um, in the certain UTSA cohort and we'll be having a monthly meeting in future so many of you already started courses so you can help each other to like which courses is beneficial for what uh, like engineering group or science other science or other uh, discipline and please join that team group you will get all the information there Um, so you can just uh, go to the QR code and uh, enter your name and um, picture, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we can do that, yeah. And if you have a phone, just you can click the picture. Um, yeah, and then our future, we are just starting. So in future, we are going to develop our own uh, subtle network there. You can all join and uh, we'll be doing a lot of other uh, steps, step by steps, I'll say. So these are the subtle certification programs. Um, so that will be helping you to learn teaching. Generally in graduate school or even uh, postdocs, you do learn research, you do learn your courses, but very less opportunities for you to do really teaching learning, how to teach. So these are the three uh, prescri certain prescribed uh, certifications are, associate is the basically basic one where you just learn the basic uh, how to teach or just teaching philosophy. And you spend 20 to 25 hours of coursework and um, write a statement of teaching or so many other mentorship program or professional development program we have, you can join those and um, that will give you at this associate level. And then practitioner level is mainly, you can propose your teaching method as a TAR planning course and then implement it. And finally, also you can do uh, several subtle learning community pro uh, program, which is in subtle MOOC or other network, you can uh, access those courses. And scholar is the final uh, certification where you can analyze and present your teaching as research uh, result and you can publish it. 
you also can um, submit a teaching statement and we'll try to organize uh, such a way that you can teach some undergrad class or grad class. So that will be your final to give you a, a full teaching experience. So uh, this is a basic subtle network, their website core programmings there, they will show give you some like college classroom program because so many of our uh, graduate students who are doing TA ship, they have a hands-on experience, but they don't have proper methodology of teaching. So that's are mainly for um, that, that will teach you how to uh, teach in the uh, undergrad class. Some of you already taking that introduction evidence-based STEM teaching program, and there are uh, writing uh, for teaching philosophy. And they do the courses like, you can see all step by step, like every three months, there are new courses come. So it's don't don't feel like if you miss this this fall, you you will have it again. And then um, also we are implementing some of our UTSS programs here, and a subject specific one, uh, career specific one. There are some for postdocs also, and all these things, uh, all these programs we have put in a framework so that we can explain you, give you a framework that these are the programs you can take. And uh, my colleague, Dr. Katie uh, McKenzie, uh, she has nicely organized all those programs and she is a STEM uh, postdoc in the STEM area and she uh, does uh, engineering, she does teach the engineering TA student and she's uh, designing some of coursework for them to how to learn teaching. Uh, she has an NSA project of her to teach the teachers. So um, here, Katie, you can, uh, she will explain you rest of the courses. Thank you. Great, thank you. All right, so um, in the next few slides, I'm going to cover um, what will qualify or be eligible for each level of CERTL certification. And um, also what's on the slides is provided in this handout that I've printed. There are more copies at the front. Also is available um, digitally through our Teams channel. So um, lots of ways to get access to this information. We're also developing a website, um, but since this is new at UTSA, we're still in the um, development and kind of building up these resources for everyone. So the first level of CERTL certification is uh, what's called the associate level. And this is going to help give you um, a really solid foundation of uh, teaching pedagogy strategies to use in your classroom. And we, as we mentioned in the last or last two slides, um, it should be equivalent to about 20 to 25 hours of um, coursework or workshops. So you will either need to take several different workshops to meet this, or um, through CERTL, and as we've mentioned, there are these things called MOOCs or a massive open online course. Um, for example, I think several people are already registered for this introduction to evidence-based undergrad STEM teaching MOOC. And it is an eight week course that started um, about two weeks ago. Um, however, it's very self-paced. So over the course of eight weeks, um, they release new content every week. And it's up to you, you know, whenever you have the time to go through those videos and interact in some discussion forums and um, gain the, you know, content and material that way. Um, there are several other um, options to meet this associate level certification. And um, these are kind of what we strongly recommend if you, you know, don't have a lot of formal teaching experience or a strong foundation um, and just kind of want to get some of those basics um, before moving on to more specialized workshops. So, um, but really you can choose you know, based on your own interests and experience. Um, so if for some reason, you know, you've missed um, or don't have the time this semester to complete um, this intro to STEM teaching MOOC, there are several others offered through CERTL. And these are all part of the national CERTL network. So um, there will be participants from all over the country at all different types of universities taking these um, online courses and workshops. So if you're interested, you know, in just a general college classroom um, workshop and course, there's that option. If you're more interested in teaching at a community college, they have um, opportunities for that. So Again, um, this first table is just kind of, you know, giving a more introductory uh, level um, of knowledge and, and skill building. 
but there are many other options that can still count toward this associate level. Um, for example, maybe you do already have some experience in teaching and pedagogy and methods, and maybe you want to take more specialized workshops, right? So um, there are many different uh, courses already through the CERTLE network, um, teaching with transparency, supporting neurodivergent students, et cetera. And many of these courses, even though we're halfway through the semester, uh, many of them, uh, the registration is still open and the workshops will occur later this fall. Um, in addition, just to give even more options, the uh, UTSA offers many different teaching focused courses and most um, almost every college has their own type of teaching related course. And so you could, if you're a grad student, for example, you could take, um, if you're in the College of Engineering, there are engineering education courses where they focus on pedagogy and teaching methods um, and some of you know, the theories of teaching. And you know, that's a semester long course and that can definitely count toward this CERTL associate level as well. Um, and again, lots of different courses already offered at UTSA, um, you know, offered at different points in the year, of course. Um, so both, you know, courses offered through CERTL and courses offered at UTSA are all eligible. And then moving on to the second level of certification, it's the practitioner level. And this is where you're really going to start applying your knowledge and skills that you gained during the first level. And so during the practitioner phase, you will actually uh, design and implement what's called a teaching as research project. And so you will you know, go through um, this process and different courses, which are still um, in the works because we're, you know, just starting this program, but uh, you will, you know, think about your specific teaching situation or teaching context and develop uh, a project. So for example, uh, maybe you're interested in um, understanding students learning um, and how your teaching, you know, impacts their learning in some way. So you'll uh, work with a mentor and be a part of our CERTL community here to design that project, implement it, collect data on your students, and be able to analyze, analyze those findings to really um, understand the impact of your teaching. And then as the final level, uh, it's called the scholar level, and this is where we want to encourage you to share your results from your teaching as research project and be able to disseminate those results to not only the UTSA community, but hopefully at a much broader scale as well. And, you know, potentially publishing your results or presenting at a conference of some sort. And of course, we'll provide more guidance um, for all of these different uh, certification levels as we move um, throughout the program. And we're here to support you, um, you know, individually. If you have questions at any point, just feel free to reach out to us. And um, we're always looking for your feedback as well. So, um, you know, if you really enjoy some of these courses and opportunities, please let us know. If you have suggestions for improvement at any point, also let us know. Um, and I'm trying to think if I have um, anything else to point out. We are in the process of um, developing a way to track everyone's completion of different courses and workshops. And so we will send out a spreadsheet for now to start collecting that information from you, but eventually we will uh, create a more streamlined system so that we can keep track of all of the workshops you've completed and when we can officially uh, grant the certif certificates to each of you, um, because everyone will be at a slightly different point depending on how, you know, the time that you can put into this and, and all of that. And um, if you have any questions at any point about what can count toward each of these levels, also just feel free to reach out to us. But I'll turn it over to Althea now. She's a research faculty here at UTSA and she'll talk about some other opportunities. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate your time today. And again, uh, we are very, since this is a fairly new opportunity here at UTSA, we're always uh, interested in hearing input, feedback, and perhaps any other opportunity that you may hear about in your department, because as mentioned before, I'm from the, so I'm in, in the College of Science, 
And, uh, you know, I have a very finite amount of a point of view from the university. However, if you're from another college, you may have other opportunities that are available to you that you'd like to share or perhaps participate in. And eventually the goal is, is for faculty members for these courses to be considered as part of your actual teaching course. For postdocs, this is a great opportunity to go not only in your CV, but perhaps if you're considering doing a teaching to post or a postdoc to uh, faculty, if this could be something that be, could be accredited through a year college, that is something that we're, uh, you know, actively pursuing and uh, talking to um, the university about opportunities. Um, I did want to highlight some that are uh, actively available to you. And if you're not familiar with them, just wanted to point them out. Uh, we do have other workshops and activities that can count towards CERTL. Um, that includes in within the graduate school, we have entering um, mentoring and mentorship. Um, this can also not only be provided by UTSA, you'll see UT Health Science Center also provides it. So in case you miss one of the timelines, you can always see what the other institution may have. We also have through the, the UT system, they actually have a teaching and well-being. This is a virtual mini course conference uh, series that is actually held throughout the entire UT system. So we have institutions from UT Arlington, Austin, uh, Galveston, uh, they're all registered here and they talk about how you can improve your students well being as well as yourself while you're teaching these courses and keeping in mind like that diverse uh, population that we have within our classrooms. And not only that, when you kind of hear each other's perspectives from individuals that have small courses where there's you know 15 students in your class or maybe in a graduate level where it's only five, all the way to the people that have the 300 course. And what are some of the challenges and perspectives that we can learn from one another so we can improve our teaching. Um, we also have the forums or offered by the UTSA Academic Affairs. So if you look, uh, if you Google UTSA Academic Affairs, there's some really nice online uh, virtual um, videos and webinars that have been set forth for the forums. And they uh, basically cover a variety of uh, discussions, including uh, teaching on a virtual course, going from virtual to on uh, in-person learning, as well as I believe there's uh, one coming up fairly soon. I believe it's on the four, uh, October 14th, but don't, don't quote me on the data, but there is one this month coming up. And of course, we have the teaching assistantships. Uh, we are in the process of talking to some individuals that have set this forth for undergraduate courses called You Teach San Antonio. And so we're trying to see if that's something that we can implement through CERTL. And of course, um, again, this is an open discussion. It's an introductory orientation. So we want to hear from you as what is some of the uh, objectives and perhaps goals, tools that you may need in order to be successful. And again, feel free to contact our, us. We have our names listed there. Uh, if you look us up through your Outlook email, we should pop up, but it's basically our first name, dot last name at utsa.edu. And uh, we'll leave this open for discussion. Of course, there is pizza and um, drinks in the front. If you guys wanna grab some things while we uh, discuss about that last sign up that we were discussing earlier, um, just while we're getting some food, we'll pass that around. Um, any questions or comments that you'd like to have? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I saw on there most of the courses had STEM. Mm -hmm. um, if, say, we are um, in the College of Education and mm -hmm. Development and we're not planning on teaching a STEM field, would we take one or would we just like, find something else to do? Like, so we'd like to have it as open as possible in our opinion. So if you have any other preferences, I, as I mentioned, I come from the STEM field. So if you have courses that you actually would like to have uh, be considered a certification, please let us know. We'd be actually very open to that, especially the more opportunities and more perspectives as we have, the better off we're training because education is a major part of what we all do. So of course, if we learn from you, uh, you know, we would only enhance our, our teaching better. So, any other question? I don't know if if not, please feel free to grab some pizza in the front. We. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Um. So I did. We wanted to mention that there is going to be a monthly meeting that we'd like to do. Perhaps. Uh. We know that most faculty members teach, primarily Tuesday, Thursdays is the busiest days of at UTSA. But I wasn't sure if uh, Wednesdays, every the second Wednesday of the month, if you guys would like to meet once a month for perhaps an hour just to discuss and maybe give feedback and input of the courses that you've taken, courses that you'd like to see in, in, implemented for CERTL. Um, just wanted to be just a very broadly share of hands if Wednesday in the afternoon would work for everybody for now. 
we will be sending out, of course, a noodle poll just to say, or doodle poll, poll to see what hours would be best, but just to kind of keep that in your mind. Uh, so if you see those emails coming up and we'll be asking Tim, who's been very kind when you signed up for your names. So you might see an email coming from us um, in regards to signing you up for this uh, doodle poll. And then anything else that we wanted to cover? That's... Oh, yes, of course. Of course. So was it the, it, I think it was the, inter, it was the move, the introduction to STEM or whatever course that mm -hmm. has already been going on for a couple of weeks, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm in history, so I'm cold, but I was like the unicorn in the room. It's <laughs> all so good. But I will say that even though I had STEM in the name, it mm -hmm. was like a universal kind of teaching. And so it wasn't like really STEM STEM. Mm -hmm. I mean, some parts of it too, and maybe the participants, but the teaching methods weren't exclusively staff mm -hmm. so in case that helps no, that is yeah that's great um so yeah i mean it's still they kind of like were shook that i was from history but mm -hmm. um that that was comforting to know um and then i had another question mm -hmm. about what qualifies so does like courses or seminars or workshops with academic innovation count under this as well is that under the canopy institute of um, academic affairs yeah. yes yes okay yeah, if it is related to the teaching or any professional development, then definitely yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just to add up with your um, question, we are planning to get some of the faculties from your college. So maybe next one will be some some basic courses from your side. And as Althea said, we really want your feedback and suggestions that what kind of courses you think will be good fit here, because we want for every uh, discipline. Certal, you know, it, oh, thank you. Certal originally started um, as being a very STEM focused uh, program and network, but we realized that, you know, the teaching mission behind Certal is really important for all disciplines. Um, so we're really excited that people from all different departments and colleges here are interested. And we really appreciate having outside um, perspectives or perspectives, non-STEM perspectives, um, because I think that, you know, everyone can still learn from each other, even if you're in a different discipline. And um, because of the way that Certal is designed, um, you can kind of tailor it to your own interests, right? So um, we're happy to work with you um, if you have questions on on different options and opportunities. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. So um, if you look at the level one, for example, um, the the intro to evidence based undergrad STEM teaching MOOC that's underway right now. Um, and, and for every course that sort of offers, they give an estimate on how long. So this first MOOC um, is estimated uh, about three to four hours per week for the eight week course. So that would um, actually count, you know, for the full 20 to 20, 25 hours for level one. Um, but there are individual workshops that you can sign up for as well. And those usually range from like an hour and a half workshop um, to like you know, two different sessions that you log on for an hour or two at a time. And I do want to point out that most of these courses are somewhat interactive, but they are going to be of yourself paced, but there's going to be some sort of quiz or basically just trying to do the learning retention and uh, evaluation on once you take the test. But most of them are very nice because they are some of them are self-paced and then some of them are interactive. So you can meet other faculty members or even uh, colleagues that are taking this course. So you can discuss what are some of your challenges there too. Yeah, and related to that, there was a question at Zoom, uh, Natalie, I guess. She was asking the similar thing, how many courses we have to take. So I assume from one course, even if you take that one, it will cover your 20, 25 hours. And if you are interested, you are welcome to take as many you want. but Yes, just for uh, basic 20 hours, you can just one course will be okay to take. And that's what I think uh, our monthly meeting will help. Once we meet together and we can see, because a couple of us are already taking that co course and others, if you are joining now, 
so they can guide you or we can uh, discuss with each other how it is going and what else you think you should take and as some of our already ahead so they will be very good guide for you so monthly meeting will help you more All right. Well, guys, since we're kind of in a slow mode, uh, feel free to grab some pizza in the front, and then we will be passing around a little sheet, right? So I don't know if you wanted to introduce the name of the course or uh, at that point. Yeah. So Sorry. Um, I think what I'll actually do, um, this spreadsheet that I've printed out um, is actually going to be available online through our Teams channel. And so this is initially how we're going to start keeping track of courses and workshops that you've signed up for and completed. Um, but as we mentioned before, we're going to try and streamline that process and um, have it be a little bit more user friendly for everyone. Um, but uh, it's just important that you um, are added to our Teams channel. So maybe we can put up the QR code again, um, or just email one of us and we can manually add you to Teams. And But that's gonna be our primary way of uh, distributing this information for now until we you know, build a web website and all of that. Yeah, I think it might be easier in the future. We'll yeah. set up an email. Yes, and we'll also set up an email group. Um, so you won't miss our updates. Thank you, everyone. So Tim is the one that did all that. Yeah, I'm a uh, so for you. So I had a